Hey YouTube, Colorful Coats here. Um, today I wanted to do a learning C check-in um, because I realized I haven't had a talking video in a while. I've been doing a bunch of tutorials and I wanted to update you all on what I've been doing here at Microsoft or working remote at Microsoft in the LEAP program, the LEAP apprenticeship program. So I made a bunch of, I made a list of like everything that I've been up to um yeah like i've done the majority of the program now i think i only have six weeks left and i don't even want to think about it um yeah so the first three weeks like i said in the q a video the first three weeks are just classroom and then after that is um just going on our teams and stuff so i've been on my team for a few weeks uh day i think like six weeks at least and I think I have six weeks left. So maybe it's been seven weeks on my team. Dang. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I got really lucky. Like, I ended up on the best team. Like, if there was a team that I would be on, it would be on this team. Because some of you already know, like, I got into tech because I like security stuff. And I get to basically do that. Like, my team focuses on securing IoT devices. Or like end-to-end -end security I think that's what I heard and like so we use uh, a Linux based OS uh, for our devices um, and lots of encryption and stuff like that super cool and you know cloud and stuff so I get to work with a team like this is this is one of our products and this is the microcontroller for one of our product projects so we like do like embedded systems and stuff like that um so yeah so my team specifically we do all os stuff so basically i'm a operating systems programmer isn't that so cool <laughs> i used to think like i remember when i was in Beaker center and i would meet people who were programming in c or building os's and i was like oh my gosh those people are so smart and then here i am just doing that same thing so yeah, like everyone on my team is just like super supportive and nice and like I ask them anything like I got really, really, really lucky. Um, but yeah, and uh, what else? What else? Um, yeah, so anyways, this video, this video is about me learning C and uh, I'm just going to tell you my process in it because I'm not going to just learn it and then tell you how I learned it because it would be a minute you wouldn't see a video until like a whole month away um and my team just started throwing me in to see stuff like I got my microcontroller because before I was just doing like all python stuff like how lucky did I get no seriously because some of the other apprentices they were doing like typescript and c sharp and uh Oh, React and stuff like that, and I get to use Python, and I'm so spoiled. Like we're the only team who even uses Linux at Microsoft, so yeah. So they just threw me into C because the last three weeks I've been doing all Python, doing refactoring of like their they call them BBTs, like build verification tests. Yeah. So yeah. So this week I just get to just do all C stuff. I've been learning C for the last two weeks i started with actually let me follow my notes <clears throat> oh oh yeah so like the project that i submitted i got to do cryptography so i thought that was really cool like i was like parsing certificates and stuff uh so that's like my entry into the hacker sphere world um but yeah so i basically used two sources uh to learn c programming i used cs50 which is super popular and i used uh the c programming book um ANSI. so and then i'm just gonna like tell you about each of them and then how i feel overall okay um yeah so cs50 <clears throat> all right so it's very popular um if you google online to learn c you're gonna see cs50 when i was at Recur center lots of people knew it a lot of people know cs50 it's like it's i think it's the most popular mooc on the line like a uh, course it's harvard's 
class. It's Harvard's most popular course. I think it's mandatory for everyone, but I don't know. Um, and it's like their entry into computer science. So it's just, it's really, it's not bad. It's like, it's, it's not bad. It's good. Actually. I don't know why I'm saying it's not bad. It's good. It's like, um, yeah, it's just a pretty popular course and just teaches you how the computer works and how code works. It's like an entry level course for programming. And I actually started it in 2016 when I was at Recurs trying to figure out like, what should I even do? Uh, because Recurs Center is undirected, so you get to choose whatever you want to do. But I only got it through week zero. So actually I started on week one learning C and uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you about that experience. So yeah, so there's like two hours of, of video to watch. This guy on the stage, he's talking, watch the videos. And then after that, you do three to five practice questions. So the questions are actually, um, <clears throat> I don't know why this is an intro course. <laughs> he really throws you in. Like when I saw coin change, I was like, how the freak do you give coin change in a week one programming question? Because I've done coin change in Python and that was hard. And that's dynamic programming using greedy algorithms. Like, I'm like, yeah, I was a little bit confused, but I saw simplified versions of the, of the problem. So I don't really think that they were aiming for dynamic programming, but those problems took me a while. Um, but I really liked it. I liked how they kind of threw me in. But I feel like if I were to start programming, it wouldn't be my starter course. Like the only reason I got through it fast was because I've been programming for the last four years as a hobby. So not as a hobby, I've been struggling to get a job for a long time, but just so happened to be programming. Um, yeah. So basically when you're doing the assignments, you're given a sandbox, which is like their own virtual environment, not like you would have your own machine, your Windows or your Linux or whatever, or your Mac OS. You're in a sandbox and they have their own libraries where you can like pull in functions and stuff like that. So the, my only criticism was that they didn't really use like fully real C. Like they use like a broken down, like a simplified version so that people could understand. And I would have to like, okay, every time I did a problem in, in it, I would like submit it for my homework and then I would do it in like real C um <laughs> I mean yeah so it, it's all real C but that stuff isn't really in the standard library it's in their own like library so yeah um and yeah so that's pretty much all my uh qualms or that's all I got to say uh I'm really excited though for the next few weeks of C all right so I just did week one and then I moved on to the book, okay? So here is the C programming language book, all right? I, I finished chapter one, actually today. I actually really like this book. This is the first book that I've ever used for programming besides cracking the coding interview for algorithms. Um, my skip manager, he gave this to me. So that's like my manager's manager. Uh, for my team um and how is it all right so um i think in the introduction they were basically telling us that just by learning just by doing chapter one you basically can after that like it's just you can it's basically like the core of c like you can start building like full pro problems and pro full programs after chapter one and it's basically how it was uh a lot of like 80% of it was kind of familiar to me. Um, oh shoot, I forgot. Here's the crazy thing about C, like memory storage. Memory storage, yeah. You have to like, if you want to make something like a variable and stuff like that, you got to know the amount of characters or like memory that you want that I was not expecting. So like 80% of it kind of came like intuitively to me but then the other 20 percent is strictly c and the other issue with this is that like this is an older version okay so some of the co code in here doesn't compile 
all right this is a c90 or a cnc like what it says so apparently today our operating systems use c99 but it's not it's only like little small changes so you just like add like a few extra stuff but don't be surprised if some of your code doesn't compile um with this book they also made a lot of references to fortran which was hilarious because that's normally like a joke that i make to people like when they tell me they've been programming for so long i'm like oh I used to program in fortran or something so i thought that was really funny like fortran and pascal and some and some yeah and pascal uh fortran is like a basically is that the first programming language i think fortran is or assembly but just know that fortran is really old and like no one practically no one uses fortran anymore um so this uh, book has so many practice problems like after every section is practice problems uh, I did a bunch of them, but after a while just taking so much time So I just did like one per section like you would be chapter one but It would be like 1.2 1.3 1.4 So there would be practice problems for most of them and in the beginning I did most but after a while I just started doing like one or two a section because some of the some of the the problems weren't worded properly like they were just confusing and then on top of that like c isn't even common that's my main issue like c isn't common so it was it's hard finding answers and stuff online like i was using stack overflow a lot i've used stack overflow to explain to me what's going on uh and stuff like that like c is just not that common so there's not as much resources uh so yeah, so that's my qualm about this. So when I want to do more practicing, I would prefer to do like Code Wars or Leak Code. But unfortunately, there's not that many people who program in C. Because like normally when I'm doing algorithms in Python, in Code Wars, I would like try to solve it. And then if I solve it or if I solve it or if I don't solve it afterwards, it would show me like a lot of people's variations of it. And just by seeing other people's variations, I was able to learn more about the language. Pero, in C? I mean, like, I can only hope that there are other examples and stuff like that. Like, I've been really reaching, like, when I'm in Google, when, when I'm Googling, I'm like, how to do this in C? And then it'll be like, do you mean C++? And I'm like, no. C. So yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so overall, uh, it's been taking me longer than expected to learn C. Like, I have to, I have, chapter five is pointers. I need to learn pointers, headers, more about the libraries. Uh, yeah, it's taking a while. Uh, I've learned Ruby faster and JS, but keep in mind that like, Pretty much like Python is built on top of C. Like C is a low level language. So I'm just being extra smart right now. <laughs> so I'm catching up to speed more on C. Uh, it's getting, it's actually getting a lot faster actually because I've been reading better. And now I kind of got my groove because I, cause I, I was just doing Python and C. It was like hard to balance. But now that my team is like throwing me in C, like, Friday was my last sprint. This is actually the weekend. So this week my team is like throwing me into C programs and they have me like working with the microcontroller to like have the light just to just do like little apps on the, on the microcontroller and just try to understand like how the C code is like compiling and stuff. So I'm really excited. I'm excited for, sorry, I'm excited for CS50 like doing all the algorithms in week two, yada, yada, yada. And the next thing that I'm doing with C, I'm actually going to build a program in C just so that I can, I've been, I've been building programs like basically with the exercises, but the last section that I did, they gave us like examples of like bigger programs we can build. So I feel like I should just do that just so I could put all of my, um, all, everything that I've learned and just build something. So yeah, so that's the update y'all. Uh, I don't want this video to get too long because I feel like, yeah, I may not try to watch it. So, so if you have any other questions, let me know. If you want to see any other videos, please let me know. And I want to come in and talk more. Uh, so just like slide in my DMs uh, professionally. 
and just you know give me recommendations on videos you want to see uh i'm gonna try to do a day in the life but we'll see how that goes um so yeah stay tuned for more algorithms and hopefully i get a full-time offer so i can just make a video about how i got hired at microsoft all right so have a good night and thank you for watching bye